And uh, as far as like the future of work too, you know, a lot, there's a very common statistic at this point is that we're looking at uh, a potential loss of 47% of our jobs in the next 20 years. So let's say it's about, about half of our jobs. And another way of looking at this too is that it doesn't have to be that way. We could actually all work, be, we could all just uh, be just as employed as now if everyone worked 20 hours instead of 40 hours. You know, if we all worked half as much, then we'd spread out the work more. So I think with the basic income, we're going to see that as well. By allowing people to greater choice over how they work, we're going to have people choosing not to work in the labor market. They'll be self-employed, they'll be entrepreneurs, they'll be volunteers, they'll be unpaid care workers, and that will free up the market as well. I mean, the other hand, you'll have people who do want to seek these, uh, these jobs, and because of that, then they can actually choose to be like do more part-time work uh, you know, there's be, be more gig labor, uh, more temporary labor, like all this kind of new work that we're seeing. That works even better with the basic income system as people can better share the paid work that's available. So that's really kind of a big part of this future as well, is that we're looking at all being able to work less and share the work better, and that we're also all able or better able to pursue the work that's most valuable to us, unpaid or not. And that's really what's interesting to think about is what kind of work people will choose to do, even if it doesn't pay anything. Like how many people would start up a new startup? You know, how, how many people would uh, decide to contribute to Wikipedia more or to create something new other than Wikipedia, but like that, where there's just so much like free uh, labor that's put into it that's actually incredibly valuable. And that's just something that I think people should think about as well.